Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. Of course, I'm Randa, and I want to thank you for clicking on today's video. So, I'm on a weight loss journey. Shocker! <laughs> I am on a journey to get healthy, full body, mentally, physically, spiritually healthy. And I know a lot of my friends are encouraged and are wanting to start or have also started a weight loss journey, a journey to get healthy. So I wanted to share some of my like top essential needs for starting your journey. So of course, support from family, your husband, your spouse, your kids, your friends, your family, me, I got you. <laughs> support and you know encouragement from your people is very important and guys, we are in really weird times right now. And yes, it is very hard to start a weight loss journey, but a health journey is so much more than a number on the scale. It's about living your best life. And hello, <laughs> if there's ever been a time in the world to know that you need to be healthy, it is right now. So what, you know, is there even a better time to start getting healthy. There's there's really not. Now or never, guys. Um, <laughs> of course, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you probably are wanting to know what I'm going to be talking about. So anyways, um, for starters, of course, encouragement, prayer, um, and supportive people all around you is like top notch number one. Also, it would help if you let people know that this is what you're going to be doing and you would like to have some support um, or you know what reach out and ask hey um, can you watch the kids for me I'd really like to go outside and go for a walk things like that and yeah I am still married guys <laughs> sorry I just saw my hand come up on the screen and I'm like Miranda it's so obvious you took your ring off I had some kind of like reaction yesterday I think maybe I got stung by a bee um, I could barely get my ring off it was only this finger and I've lost a significant amount of weight and I was still wearing my ring at my heaviest weight. So it can't be that because it's just, anyways, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I am still married. <laughs> don't worry. We're good. Um, anyways, so support and encouragement is always going to be the best and prayer as well. Don't forget that. Um, okay. So for things, things, everyone says, and I'm so glad that I know this now, that a weight loss journey starts in the kitchen. And that's where I am. I'm in the kitchen right now. It starts in the kitchen. Exercising is so good for overall well-being, overall health. But if you want to lose fat, it's in the kitchen. So I would recommend for you to have every kind of food that you need. Every, I'm sure you've done your research, I'm sure you know what you want to be eating, but now you gotta stock up your house with exactly what you need because if you don't have what you need, you are gonna eat something else, trust me. So my always essentials, just to give you a little taste, always essentials, veggies, okay? You guys, I'm eating low carb. I've said that so much lately, but veggies, I just got one thing out of the fridge, but Always make sure you have veggies, spinach, green beans, cucumbers, all the things, and fruit too. I love um, raspberries. I do love grapes, but I don't have very many at a time because I don't want it to spike my blood sugar. And um, what else do, oh, apples with peanut butter. I get the organic natural smooth peanut butter from the bulk barn. It is top notch, except for Buying at Bulk Barn right now is a pain in the ass. <laughs> the COVID rules in there are crazy. Anyway, so have your favorite foods that you know you love. Also, Skinny Pop is one of my favorites. And my kids and I watched Big Brother last night and we finished off the bag. So I need to buy more. I'm going to Costco again soon. Um, another thing that I've been loving is the Baby Bell cheese. So this is just an example, guys. Whatever you guys are eating, just make sure you have some available, like I said, or else you're going to be eating what's in the house. Um, sunflower seeds, friggin' love these. Barbecue, especially delicious. I love all kinds of nuts. <laughs> I have the mind of a 12-year-old boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Now you see where my kids get it. Um, anyway, so food, that's important. Also, water. So important. Even if you're not trying to lose weight, guys, you got to drink your water or you're going to end up with a migraine. That's what I get. I drink, drink, drink all day. Water, 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 and coffee too, but a lot of water. Um, but yeah, like if you're drinking a lot of coffee, pretty much every little bit of coffee you're putting in is dehydrating you more than the coffee is. So you need to put more water on top of that. And yes, like I've said, I pee all day long all day long, <laughs> but it is so good for you to drink your water. So have your favorite kind of water bottles. This one actually was given to me for Mother's Day from my kids and um, Curtis bought it on Amazon and I don't even know what the brand is, but I love it because listen to that. You hear that ice? It is 1134 in the morning, almost lunchtime. That ice got put in there last night. Uh-huh. So that's why I love this. It keeps it so cold, but get what I like straws best. Get whatever kind of water bottles you like. And yes, it is trial and error. If you don't have any water bottles at your house right now, go to your nearest Winners, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Walmart, buy a few different choices, like a few different styles, take them home, give them a try and see which one you like better because water bottles are a big deal. If you enjoy your water bottle, I promise you, you will drink more water, I promise you. Okay, so I'm doing a lot of walking right now and I've even started to run a little bit and I never thought I was gonna do that, but I am and I feel good. My knees are kinda crappy, but I am doing a little bit at a time so that I can still walk while I'm not running. And um, hopefully at some point I will get my body to a point where I can actually go for a run with my husband, which is what we used to do together. And I really hope that I can get there. But whatever kind of exercise you are gonna choose to do, make sure that it is something that you enjoy, okay? We did a yard sale this summer. Every Jillian Michaels DVD that I had got thrown out with the yard sale. Not one of those things came back into my house. And I'm sorry, Jillian Michaels, but you're mean. <laughs> I used to push myself so hard to do those like 30 day shred and like total body workout kind of things. They're torture, torture. And that my friends is when you hate exercise. That is when you don't want to do it and you like, begrudgingly do it and you don't look forward to it and you're dreading it and then you do it and yeah sure you feel good but then when you have to do it again the next day you're like why so don't do them find what you like I literally enjoy walking I enjoy it I've always gone for walks we have a dog I need to walk my dog all the time every day because he is so annoying <laughs> he's like what 10 months almost 11 months now and he's a puppy and he needs the exercise and so do I and so do my kids. I love to walk, so I walk. Another thing that I like to do is um, Windsor Pilates by Mari Windsor. It is literally a workout that my dad bought off the TV like back in the day, back before 2000. And um, he bought the VHS tapes of these Windsor Pilates um, workouts. And I did them while I was on a health kick back when I was younger and I really enjoyed them and I could see the changes in my body. This was actually before I got married to Curtis that I used them. So that would have been in 2005 and I lost a lot of weight um, before my wedding and I was so proud of myself. And so I um, enjoyed it then and I've enjoyed it like over the years and now basically what I'm doing is walking slash running sometimes and um, doing Windsor Pilates. I'll actually link um, the uh, video that I like the best. It's the 20 minute workout. And yes, it is very hard. And yes, you do need to start off um, with the, you know, not as hard exercises, but you would be so surprised at how quickly your body changes. Cause when I started it, I was literally over 300 pounds. And I don't know what I am now, but I'm definitely not 300 pounds anymore. And um, I am doing so much better and it's, it's so um, exciting to see how your body changes um, and how you adapt to the difficulty. So anyways, I will link that because I, I watch it on YouTube now because somebody uploaded it. It was uploaded before and it got re-uploaded and I actually have the DVDs of the same 
um, workout. So, and those are the same as the VHSs. So yes, it is hella old, but <laughs> it is so good. And it's 20 minutes. You feel, it's like, my kids are like, what even is Pilates? To me, Pilates is yoga, but faster. And I enjoy it more than yoga because yoga is so like, I don't know. I don't like it as much. So I'm sticking with what I like. And you do need to be active, even if you're not on a weight loss journey, journey, <laughs> journey. But what I was going to say is the things that you need are things that you are comfortable in while you're doing those things. So for me, I need to have leggings, lots of leggings. I only took, these are the ones I just washed there. I have a stack this big in my bedroom leggings and they need to fit right. And they need to fit good. If you are constantly pulling up your underwear, pulling up your leggings, that is not going to be fun for you. You're going to hate it. Get you some nice workout clothes for whatever you're going to do, whatever you like, whatever your preference is. And you do not have to buy brand new. You can totally buy at thrift shops. I am a huge thrifter. If you're new to this channel, stick around because you will see how much I thrift and how much I find. And it is so fun. But you don't have to buy brand new. You can find, you know, Facebook Marketplace. We have Kijiji here in Canada. There's many places where you can find clothes, shoes, everything that you want for a better price. So don't feel like it needs to be expensive. Um, also, good sneakers. You need to have good sneakers. Well, at least for me, because I'm choosing to walk or run. Um, these are actually getting a little bit worn. You can see that the, uh, what is this called? The heel? <laughs> is getting kind of worn down a little bit because I am on actually this really fun um, experience where I am filming me going on 100 walks. That video will be uploaded someday, <laughs> but um, I'm almost at 50 right now. So I'm excited to get to 100 and then I'm going to show my beautiful channel and all my friends what my body looked like at walk number one and what my body looks like at walk number 100. So I am really excited to show you guys that, but shoes, if you're running, walking, going outside, shoes are important. Also to go with the shoes, of course you need some good socks. My favorite are, I buy them all at Winners or Marshalls because those have the best price, um, but I like these uh, low cut sock, not too low, not the no show socks. Those are not good for exercise, but again, Find what you like and make sure you have it. Also, bralettes. Again, this is the stack of bralettes that I just washed. <laughs> They're in my laundry basket right there. This is how many I go through because I work out and I sweat a lot. And when you're a girl that has boobs, sweat happens down here, okay? So yeah, you need to wash them all the time. So make sure you have yourself a supply of sports bras or bralettes, which is what I prefer because I don't feel so squished. Sports bras are not comfortable for me, but you do you, find what works for you and make sure you have enough to make it easy on you. Um, this is a great tip because everybody has a phone. And in fact, if you have a phone, you better get yourself some music on your phone so that you can listen to the best jams while you're pounding the pavement or whatever you're choosing to do. I have so many different playlists on my Spotify. One of them is like a throwback one. One of them is like a badass one. Um, it's whatever your mood is. I have Christian songs that I listen to and those are great for like early morning when you're like excited for the day and grateful that God woke you up again and you're still here. Um, I like it all. Um, so I have an iPhone 11 and I don't have um, an iPhone or like a headphone jack. So of course you need uh, Bluetooth it's coming. Bluetooth headphones. Woo! That was hard. <laughs> These ones Curtis got for me on uh, Amazon and they weren't that bad for price. So if you want to check them out, they're called the, oh shoot, I can't remember. Mi Pao Cheetah, I think. I'll see if I can link that below too for you guys. The battery lasts a really long time for these and I've actually had these for three years maybe or four years because even if you do have an iPhone like pokey thing that you can put your, 
<laughs> iPhone pokey thing. Yes, I'm technical. Um, you can't, even if you can put your headphones into your phone, it's not very fun going for a walk or a run with a long cord all through your body. So I would recommend Bluetooth headphones. And also to go along with that, I got a fanny pack. Yes, I did. And um, I got this at Dollarama and it is Reebok and it fits my phone in here perfectly. And also what goes in here is um, Kleenex for me because I often get a runny nose when I'm exercising. I don't know why that is. Do you know why? Let me know. Um, and poop bags <laughs> for my dog and um, my phone. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, my keys. If I need my keys, then my keys go in here too. So yes, you can find yourself a big lady fanny pack. You just got to go into the store and try it on, honey, or order it and see how it goes. This one is like really big and it fit me at my highest weight. Um, and I was so excited when I found this because the first couple walks I was just holding my phone and that's not fun. So get you a fanny pack or there's other things like this, but I find the fanny pack, I used to have a wrap that goes around me that you had to like pull it on, flip belt, that's what it was called. I gave that to Skylar because this is so much easier when you can put it on and put it off like that and not have to like get it over your whole body. Um, okay, and I think I only have one more thing. Thank you for watching this whole video. Um, we went hiking this summer with our friends, with just us a few times, and we live really close to Fun Day Park which is a national park. It's got trails up the wazoo, like so many. And they are really fun, um, but you don't wanna carry a tote bag filled with water bottles while you are hiking. And if I'm being honest, I also brought chips because Winnie really needed chips for the hike. Anyways, <laughs> if, you, if you're if you not new to my channel, you know who Winnie is and you understand her need for chips. Anyways, uh, so I thrifted this bag. I found myself my own backpack and I only bought it for $5.99, so it was a great price. And it is very lightweight, like extremely, extremely lightweight. Like this is not hard at all. It's just really lightweight. And put some water bottles in here, all that stuff, and you are good for a hike and you will not break your arm trying to hold a tote bag, which is what I did this summer. Yeah, so get a backpack. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, if you have any more suggestions, for starting your weight loss journey, let me know down in the comments because I always like to hear new ideas and suggestions and we're all friends here, so let's chat down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for all your support, love and encouragement and I promise I will do the same back to you as well. If you are starting your weight loss journey, take it one day at a time, honey. You don't have to run a marathon in a day, just one healthy choice at a time. You can do it, do it for health and to be here longer because you deserve to be here longer and I love you. Have a really good day, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.